League of Legends highlights, powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on esports. Ethiopia saw this matchup quite a lot right at the end of LCK as another option into the LeBlanc. I think every region kind of has a go-to pick. Even in Europe, you're seeing stuff like Swank. Early will need every ounce of combat stat he can get. And Faker is going for that tier. His cast has been fished up there by Hooney. Damage coming in. This looks like first blood ignite. Is that goodbye, Casa? MMG lost control of that top lane. Faker also controlling the mid lane. So it can be done. Was on a recall as it builds for the cup. Something can be done. Oh no, he gets it. Oh no, it's a maple chain. He's good with that boss to fight. Whoops in here as well. It's a party in the mid lane and bang gets a second kill. Yeah, when Faker draws the reinforcements, when you've got the stealth from the Twitch, this approaching Drake because Cassio did a lot of damage to neutral objectives. No one is leaving their lane for fear of dying. So an easy pickup there is MMD. Maybe gonna get soloed here. Caster in the mid lane and the dot damage is enough. Who needs birds one down? Caster too late. Well, if the last game looked close for Vega Group, have to try and take a tower flash. We're gonna try, but the fish could stop it all. Betty eaten up by Sorta, but it actually gets a double knock up as a result. First tower finally down. Hooney just buying a bit of time. He gets stolen by MMD. Damage gonna come out. There's the exhaust out. Gonna get eaten by the big fish, but the Hardy leaping away and clears the wave as a result. Still moving through. Nimble fighter helping as he cuts through the minion wave. Hooney on a kill. Taking too many minutes and Hooney is gonna try and execute. Oh, shut down barely. Timing up there. How did Betty? Well, it looks like someone snuck in. It is Caster to the top side. Tonski landing off the Hooney, but I'm not sure if got enough damage. Fit does go wide there, so now he's gonna have to urchin strike back to that minion. Flash forward from Caster. Ulti <laughs> is gonna miss despite the cancel. Playable trickster away. One in the front. Stand United just to be sure. Caster gets a kill. Getting Stand United. Dashes over to the wall. Might be looking for an execute at this point. Needs to make it all the way to the fountain laser without getting Spelling tagged. Maple. One spell. Peanuts is lining up the last one. He's trying to take oh, oh, it. Finally got hit. Maple gives it up. He's like, all right, all right, I'll fight you. Peanuts like, yep, yeah, I'll grab that one. I actually see some pings over on to the. They were walking into the entire Flashman's team. They pushed him back. Look at this bear and drop. Well, it's just going to zone them out of the way. The rest of the team finished it already dead before Flashman's get anywhere close. And now SKT going to leap into action. Casa, Ulti's away. Faker Flash. Ulti just for the solid Benny. Gets a nice chain now, but Peter prompts the Ragnarok. Goes straight into to Benny as Wolf exhausts. Tavares and Maple just trying to keep them down. MMD will be the sacrifice. Faker grabs his first kill of this game. And this is why SKT has low kill partition. And it's just to prevent his teammate from dying to Hooney, who is running a rampage here. 1v3 on this inhibitor. Might just try and take it in with him, but Benny's going to be the first target. Ignite is down. Benny bounce the flash. Hooney does not care. Gets a 1v3 kill. Might get out or get another kill, but SKT, the rest of them now, a call to arms to reinforce. Carter dead to Wolf as he gets him with a Q. Sora just mouth under all the damage. And Faker leaps towards the fountain to barely miss getting Maple. We have seen some crazy games this tournament. We have seen Peanut pick up 14 kills in 11 minutes, and still this game surprises me the most. Faker's performance, outstanding. They're looking to dive the fountain, you know, whatever, and end the game. I mean, the first game ended pretty quickly. This one's gonna be even faster. SKT gonna take down yet another Nexus and push Flash Rules to the limit. Two Barons in two games, and they end the game while they have the Baron. They're turning the corner on these victories so fast and decisively. They turned the corner on game one with a smart team fight, Caitlyn living and putting out the damage. They turned this game on a level one trade in the mid lane, I think, to a great degree. And it snowballed, it snowballed further. They had to send so many resources, the Flash Rolls, to even hope to stabilize the mid lane matchup. Predictably, the other lanes fell apart because they were funneling everything into mid lane. Onivia, League of Legends highlights, powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on esports. Ethiopia saw well, this matchup quite a lot right at the end of LCK as another option into the LeBlanc. I think every region kind of has a go-to pick. Even in Europe, you're seeing stuff like Swank. Early, we'll need.